All right, hello, welcome. I have a new product that I want to introduce for electroforming and electroplating, okay? But this is very niche in the fact that it's going to be geared towards people that are doing stained glass work, okay? You can use this for a great deal of other things. I'll give you a couple ideas. Uh, soft soldering onto crystals. You can use it for um, stained glass work. And you can add circuitry to glass or 3D printed models. So there's a lot of uh, markets this could go into and it, it could be used to generate all kinds of new products. There's no doubt about it. All right, so let me get into, you know, like some things for those individuals that do stained glass work, okay? I'll give you some limits of your hobby. You have this foil tape, okay? The foil tape, as you know, goes on the outside edges of things. You, let's say I was here and I'm sitting here and I had to put this tape this is microscope glass, so I'm just using it for demonstration. The science thing of me. So I'm putting this stuff on the edges, and I'm trying to get it super even. And you guys are super better than, than I am at doing this. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. You gotta get it even. And then whatever you're soldering has to have this tape on it, right? And if I wanted to join two pieces of microscope glass together, I would have to foil all the way around the outside edge of these, this glass. But what about the center? Like, what if I wanted to uh, make a design here? I couldn't, I could, but it would be kind of difficult. I could go like this and stick the tape down and do one of these numbers, I guess, right? And boom, okay, I got something like that. Or I could break the glass and then join the two pieces together. That's the traditional way to do um, some kind of decoration here. So there is a limit, right? Uh, your patience. So I'm going to break that limit and introduce a way to do it using electroforming and electroplating. And if you're not into that hobby, I would suggest researching it a little bit uh, because after I show you this, it'll open the doors to a great deal of products that you could pro be producing in the stained glass field. All right, so for this, I'd like to use a clean piece of microscope glass for all my demonstrations with conductive paint and showing you how it works. So in this case, piece of microscope glass. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right there. All right, so there's three ways you can put this on the surface. The first way is, first off, you gotta shake it up, okay? I got a marble on the inside of this. Shake it up, and then, you can use a silicone brush, okay? A silicone tool or silicone brush. Uh, they use these for, I don't know, various things, but you can get them on Amazon pretty easy, so you can see. All right, and they come in different shapes too, so you might find one that works a little bit better than this one. Basically, you dip it, and then you can draw. And you have to dip a lot. In other words, you dip, you draw. You dip, you draw, you dip, you draw. And there is a technique that allows you to, you know, like make some really cool things and it it takes a little bit of effort but not too bad. So there's that way. The other way is you can use a, a very fine camel hair brush and that works pretty well uh, for this stuff, uh, for making fine lines. And the third way is you can take and screen print it onto a surface. Now, that one is really lengthy and hard to get into. Um, I don't have the screen printing equipment, 
but this is screen printable and you can look up many YouTube videos on how to screen print but what that allow you to do is create all kinds of really cool detail with it um, and then plate on top of it so what do I mean about plating plating is electroplating or electroforming both work with this so after you paint on the surface what you're gonna have to do is then dip it in to an electroforming bath or electroplating bath and you have to have it so this is going to be your cathode okay? and this will plate all the areas that was painted you know, plate it in copper and that's all well and good you can see on the back side there is the paint now, had that been a regular form of paint, conductive, it wouldn't have been able to solder it. So now what I can do is, after it's been plated, and you can plate as big a piece of glass as your bath can handle, and get as intricate as you can draw, after you get that, then you can apply a flux to it. And it doesn't matter what flux you use. You apply your flux like that, and then you can use various versions of solder. It doesn't matter what you use. So you can use tin bismuth you can, for a, a lower temp, or I've gone all the way up to uh, nickel silver, and they both work. Okay. So what you can do is you first. You heat up the area. Okay, heat up the area just a little bit. Now, had this been normal paint, it would smoke by now, and it would be not good. You see how the surface is turning pink? All right, cool. I got a little bit warm in that area, so now I can apply some solder. Depending how well you solder, you can cover the surface very, very, very well. And where the flux is, is where it's going to gravitate towards. Now, had this been plated on top of a crystal or something like that, you can soft solder over the crystal. Had it been a plastic, um, it does work. You just got to keep it at a lower temp because the plastic will melt. But actually, the where this paint is, it kind of holds the heat quite well. So you do have a couple seconds before that happens, and you can uh, now add circuitry to 3D prints using this technique. All right, sweet. So you can see it's holding up really well. I'm getting really high in heat. Glass is okay. Glass hasn't fractured. And I'm just keep working over the area just to show you that it works. Cool. So now you can solder in patterns on glass. All right, so now I have your attention. Um, if you want this formula, it is below. Uh, you just click on it and then you'll come across another video. It, you purchase another video and it tells you how to basically mix it together. It's made with very common stuff that can be found in any country. Okay, So if you're familiar with any of my other formulas, there are some countries that don't get certain things. This one is found in just about every country, I bet, guarantee it. Uh, it's not a dangerous thing to the environment, and it's used in the concrete industry quite a lot. So it, it's okay. You know, it's pretty common. All right, so if you're interested, for the little price of, I think, $20, you can purchase this formula and develop all kinds of goods with it. So, enjoy.